Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a little while since I've done a video, but I'm going to show you something that uh, is very useful in Serato DJ. So, I'm using the DDJSX. Great investment. Have another MIDI controller of some sort. This here is a Korg pad control. Um, you know what? You can pick these things up dirt cheap. Like, I mean, I think I got this one for like 50 bucks or something because they're discontinued. And uh, when it's in this little standby mode, it does all kinds of cool things with the lights. So, XY pad, lots of different things. So what we're going to do is Serato DJ has the ability to do very little mapping. So you figure, what would you need to map that would be of some sort of use? Well, I'm going to show you right here, right now. One of the things, when I load up a track, you see this track right here? It doesn't have any beat grids on it. I mean, because I'm new to Straddle DJ, and I think it's because a lot of my stuff was analyzed through Tractor, some tracks look like they're locked. Some tracks look like they're not locked. I really don't know. But beat grid is very easy in this program. So what you would do is, hey, go up here to, let's see, we can zoom in to edit grid. And then there, all you would do was you know, when you pull the track in, you're right on the very first beat anyways, typically, and you just press set. But you'd have to go to edit, you're using your mouse, and you're clicking around, and that's a lot of bullshit. That doesn't really work so well. So what I've done is this very button here, with that, if we could get this into focus, you go over to MIDI, you click on MIDI, you click on set it says click to set it then i go over to my pad i've already done this one but i'll do it again and i've got that one set so now come back over here then i'm going to go over to take the midi learn back off again on this side here i'm going to go to edit might as well do them both at the same time while i'm here and you can do this for all four. You know what I mean? You've got four buttons. You could map this to your keyboard and you could map it to F1s, whatever you have, right? And then I'm gonna go back over here. Uh, if I can keep this shit focused, would be great. And I'm gonna click on the set. We didn't click on MIDI, MIDI unfortunately. Uh, so let's do that again. MIDI, go over to set. And I'm gonna go over here. I'm going to pick that one. So, you know, you can set your clears and all your other stuff, and I'm not going to get into that. That's enough. I'm sure you have it figured out. So, right now, um, all I got to do, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to press this button. I'm going to show you. Can't do it at the same time, but if I press it, and I don't know why we don't have a beat grid. Hold on a sec. Okay, just a technical difficulty. I just didn't click one thing here. So I'm gonna press this over here. And you can see, you'll know I'll get a beat grid because as soon as you see the numbers pop up. And there, the numbers popped up. I know it's a little hard to see with this camera and the screen brightness. Actually, can I turn the screen brightness down here? There we go. That's a little better. Much better. So for demonstration purposes, and click clear so we have lines there but we don't have a beat grid and if you don't have a beat grid let me just show you the slicer mode will not work because it doesn't know what to slice up right I'm gonna go back set my beat grid now slicer works properly So that's a quick little video on, you know, setting your things up to uh, operate a little better. It would have been nice if they had a uh, 
made this DDJSX kind of like the S4 and have like that dual functionality of, uh, you know, HID and MIDI. So I could have programmed some things here to do that, but that's fine. Everybody, well, anybody that's into this stuff should typically have an extra one of these kicking around. Another suggestion, really, the Korg, um, what do they call that, the Nano Pad? Yeah, I think it's called a Korg Nano Pad. They're very small. It's kind of, you know, it's got, what has it got, like 16 of these things or something like that? But it's long, has one of the XY pads, and they're like 50 bucks brand new. So there's no excuse not to have one of those. They're not the best quality. You don't want to sit there and bang away in this and like finger drum to shit and back. But for little simple prep work tools, that thing works great. Um, one of the other things you could do as well too for prepping, you could take like a wireless controller like uh, the Orbit. If you hold on, I'll show you. So that's the Orbit. Um, I don't have it all hooked up to this system at the moment. I was using it for other things. But you know what? You can map all that stuff out. That one there's only 99 bucks if you want to do wirelessly. And, uh, you know, there's mappings for this, for Serato DJ, for all the hot cues and stuff. It doesn't have as ma the mappings as good as Tracker DJ has because it ha Tracker DJ is able to tell a MIDI light to come on and off to communicate back and forth. Where Serato DJ, it's only a one direction communication with this stuff. Serato DJ is talking to the controller and that's it. Or, sorry, I mean the controller is talking to Serato and that's it. There's no conversation going back and forth. Anyways, that's been uh, almost seven minutes coming up here. Sorry to be so long. That's Serato DJ. That's the Pioneer DDJSX. That was the pad control by Korg. And kind of my little trick on setting up a beat grid. Talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.